five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Dirty Glass Podcast. We're sitting here in the basement on Oak Avenue in the Dirty Glass Studio. We're going to drink. We're going to laugh. We're going to learn. Down at the end there, we got Denny the Mixologist. Coming a little towards me, Angela Nicole Catherine Hamlin. My name's Nick. This is the Dirty Glass Podcast. And we're into a new month. Last month was the worst beers we could ever drink month, (laughs) and somehow CC Green got mixed into that, so CC Green won that month without Mm. a face-off. It just won so... Unnecessary. It's totally unnecessary. Against Black Ice? Come on. Might as well just proclaim CC Green is the winner of January, but we're getting into the new month, and uh, before we do, Denny, what do we do here at the Dirty Glass Podcast? We we rate uh, adult beverages from zero to five dirty glasses. Zero being crap and five being Vundaba. Mm. Vundaba. 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 Now I Vundaba. Vundaba. When I went to the store, so real quick, I... I slammed a Snickers into me. <laughs> did you get me? I should have asked for a Wonder oh, Bar. I should have grabbed you. But, uh, <laughs> did you you didn't, get me, you didn't get me a Snickers? I well, I was just thinking of that commercial. Like, you know, <laughs> you're not the same when you're you know, stressed or whatever. I felt like Joe Pesci, like, hey, what the fuck going on fucking on? <laughs> then I ate that thing and I just turned into normal grumpy me instead of Joe Pesci grumpy me. <laughs> And what's the theme this month? <laughs> All right. Well, the theme this month is dark beers. Which is exciting. It is exciting. Because last month, every beer sucked except for CC Green. And yeah, they were terrible. And they were, it was a terrible month for drinks. It was a great month for like guests and Corey being on and stuff. But it was terrible, terrible beers, which thanks for picking them out, Corey. It is funnier that I throw <laughs> shit when Corey's here. It is fun. I mean, because he drinks like what? Blue light. He writes on every fucking post. And Bush. And bush. So, yeah. I mean, he's a bush guy, right? So. Well, you know, when I review this stuff, I drink bush, eh? But Over it's like, Vegas? I know. I, it's one of the shorts, but we were like, yeah, but can't you like well, expand your mind? Bush. It's just, it's like a. But there's other things. It's just like, you know, drinking a bunch of different juices and drinking water. <laughs> and water being bush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good analogy. And hey, I like water. But it's, you know, but, it's all right if you start off with a couple flavorful beers and then something to do the trick. Exactly. Bush. Bush. That'll do the trick and it's fucking cheap. Yeah. And it's there's, fine. there's no throw up. So um, Unless you, you eat something. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> or drink 30 of them. <laughs> yeah, well. No, it's more if you drink that, if you drink 30 of those and then have a couple shots of fucking scotch. Yeah, you know what? I've never I've never puked just drinking Bush. No, me neither. And what do we? What do you want? Them so, to do? Um, b- before we get into our beer, please like, subscribe, uh, loving all the comments. Uh, feel free to share it if you like our content. Love everybody. Numbers are going up. It's awesome. Yeah, I like it. It's a thing. Let us know comments. I like mm. negative. I like happy. I like neutral. I even want you to go. What? What did I do this accidentally? Whatever. So, re- so someone actually, there's two things. We got a. We did get a suggestion on TikTok from someone. Oh yeah. For cheap wine from James Alderson, I think. Oh, that's right. I think his yeah. wife. Maybe. Or no, maybe, or it, maybe was it was Alderson. Either yeah. way, or was it Jen? <clears throat> I think it was James. That's a headache fucking podcast. Yeah, headache podcast. Oh. And then another one, my favorite comment. So this is favorite comment section. This is my favorite one. Someone wrote, and I guess it's about Corey. That guy for sure dyes his eyebrows. <laughs> it's my favorite comment. Yeah. It's I don't. What do you say to that? What uh, dyes his eyebrows? Dyes his eyebrows. <laughs> well, yeah, he does. But that's all right. <laughs> it's hilarious. I, I don't know if he does. Does he? I don't. I mean, that's an extreme. Graham, my eyebrows. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, all right. yeah. He dies him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay attention to that shit, but but I just thought it was the he it might, was. You know what? He might not. There's a there's a guy at Leona Stone. He's probably sixty eight, seventy. He has pure white hair and black eyebrows. Yeah, that's how Corey is. Now, you know what? Maybe he doesn't. I just, I, when I saw I saw him one time when he was comb, he had like an eyebrow comb and he was yeah, because they're long, right? Yeah, he was combing them. So <laughs> I'm thinking maybe he does upkeep that. Now you do see we have a special guest. We got Gord Downey here, finally calming down. And remember, dogs love the sound of our voice. So if you want to go to work, just put the stuff on, leave it on, you know, mm. play a playlist. That's fine. I don't care if you're actually watching it. Just get us some, you know. Danny, it's what's the? F- it's good. It's a good idea, right? Yeah, it's a really good idea. Put us on to calm your pets down, because you know when people yell and be quiet and yell, <laughs> pets love that shit. Danny, what's the first beer? <laughs> oh, the first beer is Waterloo Dark. Ooh. Waterloo. It's, it's like Canadian an ABBA beer song. Edge. I know. Is Waterloo an ABBA song? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know ABBA. I know. Waterloo, I know. Is that somewhere in England? Oh yeah, probably. Yes, I'm I believe sure it is. There's... 
A Battle of Waterloo or something? The Battle yeah, of that's, Waterloo. I think, what maybe the song's about. I'm not going to say that. Nick's going to pull that out his short, and I'm going to be totally fucking wrong. So. Yeah, I'll put it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Waterloo Ooh. Brewing, Canadian. So good old Canadian. I have I have a couple of, like, good things on this one. Um, so, but guess where they're from? Like, guess where their uh, tap room is located? Waterloo? That's what I thought, too. But uh, it's not. It's not. That's a left turn. Yeah, I was surprised. And maybe, maybe it originally was in Waterloo. Think Corey. Was it in Kitchener? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. Here you go, Nick. Um, okay, I have a question. When do you guys think they opened? Thank you. Um, oh, my God. Is it in the, the last hundred years? Oh, yeah. Can I ask? All right, so. I'm, um, I'm giving hints. 1993. Danny? Uh, 1964. I don't even know who's closer, but 1984, and Denny pointed out it's the Ontario's first craft brewery. I'm for sure closer. Yeah. I'm 12 years. I don't know. I'm, I can't do math. Is, I'm like a liberal arts degree. Whoa. It's okay. Is it, it's just because Ricky likes to lay on everybody. <laughs> Tracy, you can smoke down here if you want, by the way. Um, <laughs> Chipped her up. Um, okay, so cheers. Waterloo Brewery. No lines, though, eh? <laughs> Cheers. Oh, no. no so that took me a second. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, if you got some, pass them over. <laughs> so this is... Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you got enough for me, I guess. It's, so this is interesting how you can see through this, guys. Check out the opaque... Opaque. Oh, Nick remembers the word! Opaque. opaque. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a yeah. dark, dark brown. But it's a dark... But right. you can see through it. Yeah, Which can. makes it opaque, right? It's not totally... Is it uh, red? Or I, I was going to say, it dark. seems like a red... That, oh, wait, wait. Is there a red tone to it, Denny? Never mind. I had to take my glasses off. It's got a redness to it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I think so. Too. Oh, yeah, it's definitely got a red to it. Nurse Teresa like the is same the same color of, a, of septic water. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Is this, the wa- is this what blood would look like at right straight from the heart? Isn't it darker from there? No. Teresa says yes. Isn't I'm glad bl- I was isn't right. Isn't it blue when it goes in and red when it goes out of the heart? That's I saw oct- that on a diagram. That's octopuses. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, octopuses. I think that's octopi. I, my apologies. All right, let's give this one a sip. Oh, Ooh. that's good. It's very good. Do you guys know where where, uh, dark beer originated? No. Where did dark beer? Where? Thousands of years ago. I'm going to guess. Zion. How did you fucking know? Wakanda. Wakanda. (laughs) Zenith. Zenith, Zenith, Wisconsin. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, Where did it? The ancient Egyptians invented this, and it was uh, from them putting wheat, bread, and dates yeah, dates. Oh, dates would be the thing that makes it dark, definitely. Yeah, and I just... And sweet. It's, Interesting. It's so inter- I didn't know it was I thousands. have no idea. Now that and you when... date, this kind of tastes like dates, no? That's really good. It's, mm-hmm. This is really good. It's so... it's Okay, so let's talk about the beer. It's mm. not very smoky. It's got a slight smoke no. to it, but not much. Aftertaste is minimal, so it's not too bitter. I just find it really smooth. It's a delicious. Like, it's smooth. It's, smooth it's as, some yeah. little malty, but not too heavy on the malt. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Tracy, you like it, producer? It's delicious. It is delicious, isn't it? Yeah, it's really I think it's what, got like a dark chocolate. If Gordy I think, could something? drink beer, what he would say is it's a nice. right, Gordy. So Nick, remember when I like what a week ago or so I went and bought the whole <coughs> month's uh, dark beers, mm-hmm. and then that night we decided to have a couple beers and we didn't have any, so we drank all of them. Well, we drank sixty five percent of them, and then, I, <laughs> and then I drank the other thirty five percent by myself. <laughs> That's so uh-huh. precise. Yeah, I did the math. That was That's funny. so precise. I don't um, know what the percentages really are. So. Um, the other thing is, if you'll notice, it's, there's a boar on there and they, which started a comment like on the brewery floor and stuff, pour the boar. Mm. Cause this is one of their first ones. Oh, this is. Yeah. And it's also what's on our family crest. I was going to ask that as a question. Oh my God. Oh, I knew it. He's killing it. it. I forgot about Look that. The boar and the lizard. Yeah. What is the significance does this boar have to our family? That was my question. I so I'll edit it, this uh, and I'll make it so that the question's first. <laughs> I, I thought, I thought of that like. <laughs> Two weeks ago, when I bought a whole month's worth, and I looked at it, and I'm like, oh my god, it's a boar! And then drink it. My okay. So then, what does the boar represent on the crest? Strong, strength, strength and fertility. I think. Um, on, on the site I went to today, it it, it represents bearing of a warrior. Uh, that makes sense. Um, but bearing of a warrior. moving yep. forward. Yes, yes. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't say they don't that. back up boars. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if there was a if there was a crab on there, it'd be moving sideways. <laughs> sideways that would be right? a cat, and it'd be also itchy. The cats, walk cats sideways? do a, cra- it'd be, a crab. It'd be itchy too. Move. 
Oh, not that oh, kind of crap. Oh, mm. <laughs> so what does what does the wild boar? What do you think the wild boar on the can represents, though? Mm. Darkness. Um, Darkness, Darkness is spreading, everybody. Strength and courage. That makes sense. Yeah, strength and courage. Strength and courage. But I love that you knew that immediately. That's awesome about the family crest. Okay, so uh, I guess we can rate it. Well, in Ireland, we saw a statue of a boar in front of a pub. It was like a wooden boar. I remember that. I don't was know. I there I for really that? Drunk. You would have been. <laughs> well, I wasn't there for the first couple no, I, days. I don't, I think oh, maybe you Dick weren't there, there for that one. That sounds like a you and Dan. <laughs> if you forget. I forgot about that. <laughs> we, were kind of a, we were kind of a, a, a wandering zombie pack for a couple <laughs> days. <laughs> Like, we were just, like, dragging our feet. <laughs> 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 Couldn't yeah. even talk. That'll be me and Angie in England. Actually, uh, we could That'll talk. be us in England? Like, I'm we could strong. talk. We were saying, beer. Yeah, yeah to total, like, walking What was that bar we went to? With the four, the four point? corners? That's all we would point? say. <laughs> four point guinea. <laughs> uh, I'm a three two. I like it a lot. Wait, wait. What is Angie? I haven't rated it yet. Oh, I thought you said something. Nick, you're a four two? <laughs> three. A three two? Three two, yeah. I like it. Thirty two. That's good. I'm a four. Ooh, that's high as a fucking cock. I don't know what that means. I don't, uh, uh, three. Weird. Let's move on. Well, I mean a, a cock like the like, rooster, it's like it's mm, the I head is really high. Three, I don't think that's what you meant. Or cocky? <laughs> yeah, cocky. Three, four. Cocky, cocky, you Denny a three four? Yeah, it's a three four. Well, how rare is it Denny scores something higher than me? It's pretty that fucking like it's him. pretty fucking rare. Does anybody actually. else want a topper? I'll take a topper on that. Yeah, give it to Anne. She's that's fine. I did give it a four. Do you want some more, Nick? Mm. Two, I have two full no. beers sitting in front of me. I'm fine. Um, all right. All right. So I'm a three two. Denny's a three four. Angie's a four. Yep. Oh my God! What a good start to a fucking this month. I, I can't believe we so have good beers though. this month. I mean, I'm I, so excited. I don't know if any of the beers last time. None of the beers got these scores at all. I don't think. Maybe in com not even in combination. No. I don't even think we got the combination to a three two of all mm, three of our score or no. all four of our scores. I mean, the, other than the CC, everything CC, of was course. low. All right. Well, hey, thanks for yep. uh, watching this uh, little episode. Tune in Thursday for the next episode to see who the winner of the week is and um anybody else got anything? i was just gonna say nobody heard me okay so i just want to say remember <laughs> water no you won't <laughs> i know you won't so waterloo dark give it a try it's a, a delicious mm -hmm. dark and i find it somewhat refreshing beer um i drink this a lot please like please subscribe um what did I give keep... it? a three two i'm gonna go three four now Changing the 3-4. Okay, four. all right. It is a Just three, in the four. nick of time. Just in the and nick of time. It should be a little better than the 3-2. 3-2 three, two, three, two is not... surprisingly low to me. Yeah. I don't think I don't know. We have a lot low. of good beers coming, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, we're getting up to Guinness level. But this is a 3-4. For a Canadian mm, dark? That's true. 3-4 to 4, that's fucking high. Sorry, this is like really good for a Canadian beer, though. Like, score-wise? Oh, Canadian sure. beer that like opened in the eighties, you know what I mean? Like it's a brew, like yeah. good job, good job, Great start. Waterloo. Great start. Cheers, to Waterloo, like. you kick ass. Do like, like -y. subscribe. This is, a, this is a put in a eight pack beer definitely, for sure, definitely. for sure. Put two in an eight pack. At least. I'd buy a six pack of this actually. No Thanks lie. for watching. <laughs> Bye.